here's Cindy's alarm going off in the background. Good morning. It is Friday, July 22. Really? Yeah, July 22, 2022. And it is train day number one. I wanted to show you something real quick before we uh, head out to get on the train. These are the luggage tags that, uh, oh, there we go. These have some light luggage tags that we uh, put on our luggage. Uh, they will pick it up from the hotel room in about 30 minutes. On the bottom here are two, three, well, actually three little peel off labels, barcodes. What they want you to do is put them on various spots on your suitcases in case the main luggage tag gets somehow ripped off in handling. So, a little afterthought. Um, that uh, somebody thought of. So I'll put the other two on and I'll be ready to go. The seagulls are in a bit of a frenzy around here as we say goodbye to this view. The mountain treats us to a little uh, cloud show. So about 35 years between my visits to Vancouver. Maybe it won't be so long next time. We had a great time here in Vancouver, thanks. And oh my, all the ambulances are out. Heard a lot of sirens overnight. Well, it was a Friday night. Apparently Vancouver's a happening town. mobile phone or we gave it to you last night so it tells you where you're seated on the train so if you are situated our first look at the train Mandatory selfie mode in front of the train. It's down here right early. Yeah. Somebody's going to walk past and knock my camera out of my hand. Yeah. So this one here, CBO3, is our car. And it's like smack in the middle of the train. This looks like the uh, open air viewing area. Not real big. Hi, good morning. Yeah, Brian's gonna check the seat back upstairs. Going up the very narrow stairway. So there is an elevator for people who can't do the stairs. I can do the stairs. Well, if I have you right next to the bar, I do also have the seats in front of you available. Um, I did see that it was requested you had the very end of the train. Um, so you're the very end left-hand side. This row in front of you is empty. It can be a bit noisy back there because you are right next to the stairs that are by the kitchen. So you had a mystery. Yeah, the tray table. So on the train, it is stored. Uh, it's for flipping the seats around. Yeah. <laughs> um, Not so right now. Back um, now. Maybe tomorrow. Close. I don't know. <laughs> Flip it up. It's a surprise for me. It's a surprise for me too. I found it at the end of the day. And now pull it back out. Okay. Television demo. So only a little easier than figuring out the Tesla. Yes, <laughs> but like the Tesla, I wouldn't have found it if somebody hadn't told me where to start. 
So what can we notice right away? Seats are comfortable. Very, yeah. Not, uh, not sofa, but pretty comfortable. Not lazy boy, but yep. comfortable. So lots of leg room. Plenty of leg room, and you've got you know, leg rests. I'm not sure. This must be um, support. Yeah, lumbar support. So you can make that. And then... Uh, support your lumbar. Yep. And then this kind of tilts you a little bit forward, right. and you forward. Then if, <laughs> crazy enough, you can heat your seat. <laughs> well, it's, it's July, but yeah, they run this in January as well. I guess. So, yeah. so plenty of leg room. Um, there are no overhead compartments, so everything that you carry on has to go under the seat. And fair amount of room, although a standard size carry-on suitcase might not fit in both sides, just in one side. We are, I wouldn't call us fortunate, our traveling companions had COVID, yeah. so there's a couple empty seats over there and we get to use their seats for storage. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry. And we're right, the bar is right behind us, we're in the last row of this car. Okay. Just yeah, what we need. Just what I need. <laughs> uh, well, you, you actually requested last row. I'm not sure why. Well, I wanted to be at one end or the other. All right. Um, so we found the, uh, the tray table, and then there's. <laughs> there it is. Mm -hmm. That was loud. I know. And there's one other minor amenity. Hang a jacket or a purse or something. And um, that's it for now. We'll discover more later. <laughs> Cindy discovered a small problem. Let's all give a nice, polite early morning round of applause for Courtney. Just a little nearer to myself, another nice round of applause for Carolina. Just behind me and on my left, this is Desiree. And on the microphone, my name is Ryan. Now we are under uh, federal regulations here on the Rocky Mountain Year, so I do have a debate and safety announcement that I have to read to you. This black rubber strip down the aisle, we like to call it the frame. We're going backwards. I don't anticipate we will be going backwards the whole way. And there's more. <laughs> uh, we're doing a train maneuver that's called a Y. It's, it's called that because, because that's the shape, shape that the train is going to make. We're going to be heading backward past the switch point, and then that switch point is going to switch over to our uh, travel track instead of our station track, and then we'll be leaving the Vancouver station from there. We are headed to breakfast. First call. <laughs> but we're behind all these people. There might not be any food left. <laughs> okay, that's the elevator. <laughs> If you sit in the very first row, you could end up going backwards the whole way. <laughs> I wouldn't want that.
So we have the bread course, croissants, and if you need it, gluten-free bread. And let's see, are you reluctant television stars? I am. Okay, don't, so, don't so, be annoying. Cindy says don't be annoying. Don't be annoying. That's Sue. And over here, that you Sharon. can't see is Sharon. <laughs> and as you can tell, outside the window, we are moving and we are moving forward. We just had to back up to get out of the rail yard. And we're in forest. Not really. A note about the dining car. It is loud. It's not loud because the train is loud. The train is very quiet, especially at this speed. Or probably all the time. You know, it's just people talking. They talk loud. Okay, it's the Food for an Eggs Benedict. And what do you have? Uh, spinach souffle. And spinach souffle. Egg skillet. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Well, okay, well, uh, hey, Bola, as soon as that potash break gets out of the way. 
spent programming the radios. Not a lot of time using the radios, but here on the road, I programmed one for a small town whose name I can't pronounce, called Quitlam, something like that. And I found one repeater there. We're not too far from there. Let's check it out. This is VE7 stroke K4AAQ, VE7 stroke Kilo 4 Alpha Alpha Quebec, Andy Talkie on the Rocky Mountaineer train on the Coquitlam, I think, 3-1 repeater. K4 AQ listening. Passing through really quick. Many repeaters programmed in. They didn't take long with the repeater book programming. Didn't take long to get any of these programmed in. And most of them, I'll never talk to anybody on. I might just kerchomp them as we drive by. Blazing along now. disappointing as we were getting started. It's a pretty solid overcast. The forecast is for partly cloudy. And looking up there are some signs that some sun might break through. That would be nice. So This is VE7 stroke Kilo 4 Alpha Alpha Quebec, railroad mobile on the uh, Rocky Mountaineer. Going through mission, listen in Abbotsford. VE7 stroke Kilo 4 Alpha Alpha Quebec. I should at least get somebody telling me I'm real noisy. Chilliwack has six repeaters listed, 
So let's try one or two of them. This is VE7 stroke Kilo 4 Alpha Alpha Quebec. VE7 stroke K4AAQ on Chilliwack 96, I think it was. K4AAQ listening. Ladies and gentlemen, how do we correct this? Can you take care of me down there? Thumbs up. They like to breakfast. I like breakfast. Applause, give a round of stomps so they can hear you down there. Big stomps. I don't think to confuse them with that. Let's try one more uh, repeater. This is VE7 stroke Kilo 4 Alpha Alpha Quebec. VE7 stroke K4 AAQ. Handy talking on the Rocky Mountaineer passing through Chilliwack. And listening one out. The other little blue piece of our drinks menu is going to have a selection Anybody of home? wines and beers on the inside of both Montreal's and Spirits. Stepping out into the open air vestibule is a very different experience. It's noisy, a little bit of diesel smell, not, not bad, but a little bit. But the thing I noticed most was uh, don't stick your head out. <laughs> At any moment, you could be whacked by a branch or a train coming the other way that's only a foot or so away. So they don't make, maybe they made a big deal of that and I didn't notice, but I'd make a bigger deal of it if you're going to be standing out there. That is weird. It's almost lunchtime, which means I've got to eat some snacks first. We're heading north past the little town of Hope a little while back. Things are still green. A couple of notes, uh, sightseeing, not awesome at this point, up to this point. Again, in the green tunnel a lot. Some views of the river and the hills around the river, but nothing spectacular up to this point. And something else to note is that uh, now that the sun has come out, at least a large part, and that tends to create more reflections. You can see the passenger in the seat in front of me taking a nap and uh, getting uh, reflected off the window pretty well. Uh, and a little bit more haze through the window as uh, the sun is coming through it. So the other side of the train is for photography and video a little better because not quite so many reflections as far as what there is to see don't really know yet because we haven't seen much yet yes we are in a tunnel we're out. 
set for our lunch service. So if you were in our initial breakfast this morning, and we know the seats 37 and higher, I'd like to invite you downstairs now for your lunch. If you have a glass, please leave it in your tray. We'll take care of it for you. And bring your cameras. We're just getting into the Fraser Canyon. I do recommend having uh, your cameras on you. I can point out a few spots if you need to just across the river on our right hand side, you can see another freight train that's moving in the opposite direction of us. This is a really good example of a railway uh, traffic system called directional running. Third transcontinental rail line in 1915. The other one is Canadian Pacific, and they completed their uh, transcontinental railway in uh, 1885, 30 years before the Canadian Cancel that. Wrong menu. And now today's menu. Not my fault on the bumpy video. It's the train. Okay, another four-way food porn. That would be the steak. What do we got here? Udon bowl. Udon. Pork chop. And I thought you got an udon. We did. Oh, with chicken. Okay. Yes. I see. Same thing. So we are about to go into the tunnel. So as soon as we get out of this tunnel, we will be on the Canadian Pacific Ridge. The original was built in the 1880s in England, and the chip over here in pieces. We will actually be going under the Canadian National Line. So I'm just trying to get a tunnel on this side of the tunnel. Oh, here. 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 Oh, 
standing on that bridge from a hundred years ago and that nest was there. Much smaller, but it was there. It was a 100-year-old osprey nest. Or so we're told. The eagles do hunt fish mainly also hunt amphibians, other birds, other mammals, and rodents as well. But all these dead trees right by the edge of the water, it's the best spot for us to find our eagles. Eagles do mate for life once they find a partner or stick together.
Uh, so once you get to your hotel, the first thing I would like you to do is take a look in the lobby and look for a big poster board um, with the Rocky Mountain Air blue colors on it. And that's going to have your bus information for the morning. be disoriented about this oh, window we're going backwards it's going to take us as long about that window we're going forward yes um, and that was my reason for leaving bartending I had one more year in the service industry you see something totally different something totally new Exactly. So that's that's a long term plan. Short term, I just gotta make it. Some yeah, I know. I so I'll figure something out. I know there's um, opportunities for me for some other friends or some other restaurants to have or have to have. So yeah, so Langley's my my home now. That's eight. So we must live in So that's the one that we're Bus nine. <laughs> there is a red carpet. Exactly. Welcome to Kamloops. So with the thousand people waiting for the elevators, we're going up five flights of stairs. And the day ended with our luggage sitting here waiting for us in our room at the Sandman Hotel. And we didn't even go out to dinner because we were stuffed little ticks. And we were tired and we just went to bed. <laughs>